ever even met. I of which approximately 11 inches was rain. Good morning everyone. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, pound that like button, and ring that bell icon to get notifications on all future uploads. I think today we're going to start making our cuts uh, on the red cedar we got to make the Chickshaw 2.0. So let's go ahead and let the chickens out. We'll feed them, do the meat birds, and then we'll get started. You know, it's very hard to do this with one hand. Good morning, chickens. After I feed the chickens, I'm gonna take you guys and show you our layers first three paddocks. So you can see what their manure and the chickens tilling the soil does to the soil. Our meat birds turn eight weeks old in two days. And by the looks of their body, <clears throat> it doesn't look like that they will be ready to be processed. They look a lot smaller than what a, uh, an eight-week-old Corners Cross should look like. These came from uh, Murray McMurray. They are the, uh, the Jumbo Corners Cross. These are all female. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh some later today to see where they're at. But I've been going by a certain chart I used that my mentor gave me. Uh, that same chart yielded an average of 5.02 pound birds our first go around at it. Um, and that average weight was birds at 8 weeks old. Now, the first round of meat birds we did, they were on a ton of clover. I'm talking about, it was hardly any grass. It was just straight clover, which chickens love clover. But we don't have an abundant clover in our pastures right now. Um, we got healthy grass, which they eat, but not a lot of clover now in the paddocks where the layers were where i'm about to show you massive clover a lot of clover came back after the layers were moved out it only took about a couple weeks so this is the first paddock our layers were in as you can see there's a lot of healthy grass coming up but most but more importantly look at all of the clover I, I don't want to cut it. Massive amounts of clover. It's not seeded. This is what the chickens do when you have them on grass and rotate them. This is paddock number two. I did cut this. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. But again, it's not seeded. We got clover coming up. We got a healthy grass coming up. More healthy grass and clover coming up right here. But look at this. The chickens do an amazing job. I highly recommend doing what we do get them in a chick shawl and rotate them you want your chickens to be in the paddock for about a week move the chick shawl every morning before you let them out and just keep rotating Woo! 
the smell. Beautiful. I don't know what that is. That wasn't there when I stacked the wood. Oh. It was like a signs of a nest. Oh, probably a mouse. Oh, look at this. We do have a mouse. There's this food stash. That's feed. Got my book here. All right. Your first two cuts is two by four by six foot, and then you set your scraps to the side. Justin was meticulous when doing these blueprints. He wanted to make sure you utilize all your scraps, which is very important, especially to us homesteaders, but it should be important to everyone to try and use as much scraps now there is one detail you got to pay attention to whether it be custom cut wood or even wood from your box store always make sure your edges are flush and if you look right here that is not so luckily for me my wood guy went well beyond the eight foot mark so i can afford to cut even that much off of that side Let's go down here and let's check this side. Let's see what we're looking at. I can already tell we're going to have to cut some off. For all of you out there that wear eyeglasses, found these on eBay. They are made by a company called No Cry. They go right over your glasses, just like that. They're not supposed to fog up but they might fog up while i'm wearing a mask we'll see i hope not look at that we got new hats two quacks five clucks farm with the youtube logo on the side we're thinking about getting more made and doing some contests here soon and handing out free hats all right let's get a cotton <laughs> Next up, you're going to take four of your 2 by 4 by 8s Justin says cut four of them at 5 foot 9 inches. So far, Justin's instructions, his blueprints are really simple to go by. I'm going to show you right here is what they look like. You get nice color pictures, nice detail. Kaylee. What? What are you doing? Going to do duck. Duck? Yeah. We got more than one duck. I said duck. You said duck. No, I said duck. She said duck. No, there's Comment no. below and let me know if she said duck. I heard I duck. duck. We have a cat. Well, she has a cat. His name's Gizmo and it's a munchkin cat. Believe it or not, it's a munchkin cat or he is a munchkin cat. I plan on doing a vlog later on down the road on Gizmo. I think everyone will get a kick out of them, but yes, we have a munchkin cat. Ain't that right, Gailey? Yeah. He looks like a kitten, but he's not. He's a munchkin. He is a munchkin cat. He's pretty cool. Gizmo's an awesome cat. We all kind of like sneak in there and have like one-on-one -on -one time with Gizmo. He's the coolest cat. He really is. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these four I just cut. Five foot by nine inches. That way I know what wood is what. Next up, you're going to take two scraps out of the four pieces you just cut. These measure at two foot three inch. 
I do believe, and you want to cut these down to 18 and a quarter inch. After you do that, you turn them on their sides and you want to make 45 degree angles on both sides with your narrow side facing up. You don't want the wood facing flat. You want the wood facing up like that. This side right here is your narrow side. So if you like what you're seeing so far, hit that subscribe button, punch that like button, and ring that bell icon to get notifications on all future uploads. I tell you, we got a lot coming up, and I try to add some comedy in it, try to make it fun for you guys, but also teach you guys at the same time. This chick shot is gonna be fun to build. I'm gonna add some modifications to it. Caroline and I, were about to plant our comfrey. We're gonna show you guys how I was taught to do it. And I'm gonna show a little Miss Caroline how to do it. Ain't that right? Yep. All right, so here, hold the camera. Now this comfrey came from the farm where I shot the documentary. Caroline, you can man the camera. Yep. All right, let's roll, Caroline. I think I'm pretty good at this. So, right there. All right. And we are going to mark with these pink landscape flags where we plant each root. All right, Caroline, you want to come in a little close and we'll show them how to do this. What we're going to do... Is that close enough? Yep. Is we're going to trim off... All the leaves. Now, normally we would feed those leaves to the chickens, but we're not gonna do that. And I will tell you why here in a second. All right, so this piece right here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna snip this one off. And this piece right here, that's one that will go in the ground. Now this piece right here is pretty small, but you can cut them, I've heard, as small as quarter inch. This one might take a little bit longer to grow, but we'll give it a whirl. If it doesn't grow, that's okay. This is our first time doing comfrey. Same with this piece. All right, now this is the granddaddy of them all. What we're gonna do, we'll snip off this piece. Now this piece right here has a bunch of roots on it so so far we got four comfrey plants we got four five six you know what i'm gonna leave these guys intact this is called the crown what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a angle on it i learned that from jack spearco and when you put this in the ground you want this part facing up so this right here, we're going to cut at an angle. I was going to leave this on there, but something's telling me to take it off. Let's see if these shears are strong enough. Oh, yeah. All right. So right here's your crown. Slightly cut at an angle. So that will go in the ground facing up like that. Look at that. This one's probably going to be our best plant. It's awesome. So what's that, Caroline? Ten plants um, so far? Yeah. Comment below and let me know your ways of planting comfrey. Because I want to grow a pasture full of it. Comfrey has a lot of uses and I want to maximize all of those uses. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our shovel, go down about that far, we're going to lean it forward, 
hold it with our foot and just like so let's hope let's see what that looks like you don't want it too far below the surface the crown is facing up let's break this up some all right just like so now i'm gonna let caroline run the camera i am yep um, i like you fly girl Woo. push your shovel forward this one have the crown facing up the farmer that gave me this where we shot the documentary told me once when I cut the comfrey leaves off to lay them over where we sowed the root because it will add organic matter and nutrients to the soil. What are you doing, Hazel? Oh, she wants in. Oh, oh, no, she's going to sharpen Oh. Oh, crazy cats. Hi, girly. We had a great day today. We talked some chicken science on how they impact the soil in a positive way. We started on the Chickshaw 2.0 build and Caroline and I, we planted our comfrey roots. I'm in here in our garden. Our fall garden is doing great. We got Brad's Atomic Grapes coming in. We got little potato cucumbers coming in. We got sugar baby watermelons. We got Kajari melon. We got tie-dye tomatoes. We got San Marzano tomatoes. We got a ton of marigolds. We got sweet corn, which sweet ambrosia corn to be exact. We are very blessed. We are two years into this journey and we are just blessed. And we're blessed to have you as a subscriber. We've had a lot of new subscribers lately and Jen and I and the kids, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We truly appreciate it. It means the world to us. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You will love our channel. You can go back and watch episode number one and go from there and you can see how our homestead has progressed in just two years. Actually, hold on. I started filming. It will be a year uh, next month. So you, you'll actually see our homestead progress over the past year, which it's amazing to see. I sometimes sit down and watch some of our very first vlogs that were filmed on my phone, edited on my phone, and just using a selfie stick. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up. We appreciate you watching. Tune in next time. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Uh, I know I have that documentary I got to edit. That's gonna take some time. So, but between now and then, we got the chickshaw build. I have to build a kill cone stand for when we process chickens. I gotta uh, put up a new duck fence using Premier One's uh, no shock chick fence. That's gonna be a cool vlog. Build raised beds. I got a greenhouse coming from a farmer's friend uh, in probably about two to three weeks. Well, it's a caterpillar tunnel. This can be closed off on the ends with their zipper doors and it's going to be used as a greenhouse. So please subscribe, follow our journey. You won't regret it. You will love it. Trust me on that. We're going to hold a bunch of giveaways here coming up soon. You know, we love to give back to our subscribers who watch us on a daily basis. Everyone, if you guys have a good day or a good night, stay safe and God bless. Thanks for watching.